Hey guys, it's Scott Clark with Scooter Media, and in today's video, I am gonna show you a camera hack that is going to save you a ton of time. Let's get into it. Have you ever been out in the field shooting videos or shooting photos, and you decide you wanna change something within the camera menu, and you can't find where it is? You decide you wanna change the autofocus setting, so you're searching through all the different menus because there's so many menus, and it takes you forever to find the autofocus setting that you're looking for. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a custom menu within the camera that you can add whatever features that you want to, and that way you're not searching all over the place for whatever items you need. It's all centrally located in one spot. Let's show you that now. So the first thing we're gonna do is obviously we need to turn on our camera, and then we're gonna hit the menu button, and then we're gonna navigate all the way to the very last page that has the star on it. And that is my custom menu number one. So in here, you can see that I've added the white balance, I've added the picture style, I've added the movie record quality, movie cropping, Canon log settings, and format card. Now again, this is just my video setting number one. So the first page, if I scroll over to the second page, all I have in there is sound recording. And basically, those are most of the features that I use when I'm recording. So basically, instead of having to navigate through all of these different pages and everything else, I basically have everything I need in one central location in these custom menus. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to create one of these. So because I have not put anything onto page three of this, uh, we'll just use that as our setup. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add my menu tab and we hit OK. And then we're gonna hit Configure. Then we can rename this tab. So let's just call this one Video. And then we're gonna hit Menu. and then okay. All right, now you can see that we've named our menu tab video. The next thing we wanna do is we're gonna select some items to register to this menu. So in order to do that, we're gonna make sure we're on that item, select items to register. We're gonna hit the set button. And now in here, there's a ton of things to go through that you can pick to add to that menu. So because we're in video mode, let's add some video items to our menu. So let's scroll down, we'll see what we can find here. Um, sure, white balance will add. What else can we add in here? Uh, movie record quality, sure. Shooting mode. Movie cropping. Time lapse movie and zebra settings. Okay, so we've picked four or five items. To see what we've now added to our menu, we hit the menu button to go back, and we hit it one more time, and now you can see we're on page three of our menu, which is the one we set up. You can see here it's called video, which was what we titled it, and then we've got our white balance in there, we've got our movie record quality, our shooting mode, movie cropping, time-lapse movie, and our zebra settings. So now that those are all in there, we can adjust all of those different settings however we wanna go in there and adjust them. So if I'm out in the field now, I have white balance, movie recording mode, shooting mode, movie cropping, time-lapse, and zebra settings all on one page, and that is going to save me a ton of time. For instance, let's just say I wanted to do a time-lapse movie. Now, because I'm in this, if I go to this, it's gonna say, because I'm in Canon Log, it's not gonna let me. So in order to get to that, I have to turn off my Canon Log settings, which I do know I have right here. So if I turn those off, I then have access to, if we go back to page three, to my time-lapse movie. But let's say I'm out in the field and I have not set this up. Let's say I wanna just record a time-lapse movie I now have to go through all my menu settings and try and figure out, okay, where's time-lapse? I don't really know where it is. So then, oh, okay, now I have found it, and then I can go in here. 
So you can see, just by even me trying to find that, I had to go through what? I had to go through five pages on here to find it, plus all the other menus at the top. Whereas in here, I've got everything I need at my fingertips. And again, guys, this little camera hack is going to save you a ton of time. If we do wanna organize these, we can go into configure and then we can sort them. So let's say we wanna move something here. We can now move those. See how that's moving wherever I wanna put it? So if we want movie record quality at the top, we just set okay. Then we can pick another one. Um, let's say we want movie cropping second on our list. We just hit enter or set, and then we move it up and hit enter again once we're happy. And then if we go back to our menu, you can see now that those things have moved. Now our movie record quality and movie cropping are right at the top of our menu. So you can play around with the sorting in here. And again, if you do wanna delete any items, you can delete selected items, you can delete all items on the tab, you can delete the whole tab altogether. And again, if you wanna rename it to something else, you can. So that's about it, guys. This little camera hack has saved me a ton of time. I hope it saves you guys a ton of time as well. If you guys found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it really does make a difference. And I'd love to have you join me on this YouTube journey. Be sure to also hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the videos coming out on this channel. I recently put out a video talking about how to update the Canon camera firmware. If you're interested in checking out that video, please click on the link here. Thanks for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.